Okay, not gonna lie. Yeah, the mic should be fine. Alright, hello everyone. Um, I wanna play Knights of Honor. Jesus Christ, that's loud. Like, I probably leave it for now. Um, yeah, so, people who haven't played this game, it's actually quite an old game. It's 2003. Um, it's, oh, I guess 2004, excuse me. But it is a great game. It is just one of the best strategy games I've ever played. Um, I'm a history, uh, I'm taking a history degree right now. Um, and I, I love this sort of thing. I love I love the historicism behind it. I love just the, the history, all the, the different places in Europe. You have the big map of Europe right here. You can select different countries. Um, you can be different countries. There's so many different ways to play it. Um, different army kind of concepts, different uh, goals, different ways you can do things. Um, what I usually like to do is I kind of have like, okay, like Muscovy. So Muscovy ends up actually being um, Russia. So it actually ends up uh, uniting all these places like Nervigod, uh where the Golden Horde is, Lithuania, um, and kind of incorporated into the Russian Empire is what it basically becomes. Um, so like that's what I like to do sometimes, go Muscovy. Uh, right here in early, you see all these, like Britain's not even like united yet, so you can kind of unite all of Britain by uniting all these guys. Um, you can unite Scotland up here, you can unite Ireland. Um, to tell you the truth, I, like, I used to play this when I was a kid, and this actually gave me a basic understanding of what, uh, uh, basically just the geographic locations of Europe. Because <laughs> this, is, this is how I basically found out. Uh, it's just by playing a game, and yeah, it actually taught me something, and that's just crazy talk, like, a game actually teaching you something nowadays. But, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm just going to play it. I am going to play it hard. Hard is a lot of fun. Because um, every single thing you do can have huge, huge consequences. Um, I'm not going to play a super, super large place. Um, I don't really want to be too small, but I don't really want to be super, super powerful either. I could always do, like, Sweden, Norway. Hmm... I don't know what I want to play. I don't know. Kind of feel like, hmm, I feel like I'm dumb. What I'm probably going to be doing is talking about way more about the game itself and the gameplay. Just because, like, this is legitimate. Like, I'm really I'm really happy that I found it on Steam. That's basically where this is coming from, is Steam. Um, and it's just kind of like, just, just, oh my god, this game is actually on Steam. I can actually play it again. I don't need to torrent it, and I don't need to worry about all this... Uh, CD1, CD2 type of bullshit, I can just, like, play it. I can just play it right from Steam really, really easily. So I'm really, really excited and going to play it. So, ugh, fuck, I don't know what I'm going to choose. Uh, uh, let's be... Uh, I don't want to be the Ottomans, because I want to be at least a, like a Western European power, or even Eastern European, but I don't really want to be the, uh, the Muslims. No no offense to Muslims, but <laughs> I just, I don't know. I don't know. I just want to, I want to use the unit types and all that from uh, Western and Central Europe. That's probably what I want to do. Hmm. Brandenburg. Oh, yeah. So the, basically, this is a kind of a different... Um, uh, perspective on what the, the the German Holy Roman Empire was. Um, it basically was all these different city states. Like it basically was everything from right here. But it's definitely not one unified country. That's for sure. Um, there becomes music again. Ah, uh, fuck it. I'll just do Sweden, I guess. Yeah, I'll do Sweden. Eh, let's do it when they're not too too strong. Uh, looks like they're. Oh wow, they beat the shit out of Denmark. Hmm. Let's do this. Oh, wait, and then I don't have... Ah, let's do that. Yeah, Sweden. All right, and we begin. It works. There we go. All right, so put that guy in there. Um, yeah, so I have a thousand gold to start. Basically, this is the political view, so this gets to show you where everything is. Um, we have, okay, all the different countries around me. Uh, you can go relationships. So we're actually at war with Norway. Oh, we're at war with two different countries. Holy shit. Um, oh, actually, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. So here, I'll show you why that's a good thing. Um, so right now, I'll start off by building some inns, um, and I'll show you what they actually do. Oh, good, a vineyard. That's always good. Um, the inns basically gives you plus one workers and plus two happiness, 
and happiness is so key, so so key in this game. Um, that's actually kind of a bad start, the fact that I have to fight two different people at once. Um, oh well, whatever. Uh, okay, good. So I have lots and lots of suns, so that's a nice thing too. Um, no offense to ladies, but suns are a lot more useful in this time period and in this game. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do two of those, and then I'm gonna do another marsh. Well, hmm. No, I don't yes. want to do that. Um, yeah, let's put you in Norland, wherever Norland is. Oops, that's where Norland is. All right, I'll move them over to there. Let us restock and wrestle. Um, okay. So I'll start recruiting. Um, I'm just going to recruit up some people, and then I'm going to go fight in Norway. Um, let's see. At least I'm. At least I have a trade agreement with, with Denmark, so that's good. I cannot. So that'll give me some extra uh, currency right here. So you can kind of see the the your gold. You got to balance your uh, balance your budget. So king bonus. Actually, that's really nice. Uh, that's actually quite a bit of a bonus. Um, as you can see here, you go to Royal Dynasty, Dynasty, um, and you see these little bonuses. So the nice thing about this guy is that he actually has a really nice economy, so you get that bonus gold, and that's actually really, really important early game. Um, he doesn't really have a lot of warfare, which is kind of unfortunate, but actually the second stun is a lot more... Of course, this would cause a giant fucking, like, oh my god, the second stun, not the eldest stun, but yeah, this guy has better stats. Um... Plus that two economy, so alrighty, and he's heading over. Gonna go over here now. I'm, I may, I don't know how I'm gonna cut this up. Like, yes, my lord. It kind of depends. Yes, my lord. Okay, may as well recruit. So I'm gonna recruit in my three cities over here. Uh, just get some peasants or whatever. Um, then build up a, an army or two, and then uh, send them off. Because once I send them off, I will be able to pillage to my heart's discretion. And while it does destroy pretty yeah. much everything, um, the nice thing is, is that obviously I can just like yeah I can, I can get lots and lots of gold, which is which is kind of key, especially in the early stages of the game, because the more gold that I have, uh, I don't have any free trade routes. All right, go away, Tommy. Whatever. Um, let's see. Not really friends with anyone else. That's kind of annoying. All right. Well. Let's offer a trade. Oops. Let's offer a trade agreement. See what they say. Oh, they did. Great. So that actually worked out just fine. Um, ideally, I would want to trade with the big, big powers like Germany, like France. Um, Byzantine would be right here. Fenomans. Um, usually, you would want to trade with them because they would have the the most gold that you could get. Because um, if you look right here, it says trade potential. So like actually, it's so Germany at yeah, 53, um, whereas they're good. They're only at nine. So. Um, but unfortunately, because I'm kind of a smaller power, um, like here, I'll show you. We have built a new oh my god, he actually did it. At your service. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. I you guess we're going to trade with Germany. I didn't actually expect Germany to uh, accept that. Because on a hard, basically, you don't really get a lot of bonuses. You uh, don't really yes. get those bonuses. All right, so... All right, that's probably enough for two armies right now. So I'm going to send him there. We'll regroup right here. And we're going to go invade Norway. Because Norvagold, uh, the only thing is that they might actually besiege this town. Hmm. Well, I still need that anyway, so that's fine. Um, actually, I should, I should... How do you speed up the time? I forgot. Um, oh, there we go. I don't want ten times, though. What the heck is that? So there's only two? Hold on. Oh, there we go. Two times. Perfect. All right. So now the time's going a little bit quicker, so people will be moving around a lot faster. Um, it just improves the just the gameplay in general because you're not like always waiting for a billion years. I usually like to play at two times speed, unless I'm waiting for something. But okay, so I need 1860 to increase my kingdom power. Um, kingdom power is always really, really nice. Um, because it allows you to uh, get a whole lot of... Um, it actually gives you gold bonuses. And it also just makes you... I, I guess just more powerful, really, is, is all it really does. Yes. Um, so yeah, we'll move all those guys over. Okay, that's more than enough. Alright, perfect. Now, there may actually be rebels. 
That's going to be annoying. Oh well. Um, all right, we'll begin our assault. So, we're going to go burn that little town right there. No, <laughs> no mercy for the peasants. Um, we have we have four, right? Yeah, we have four different places right now. They all have buildings going on the right-hand side, as you can see. Um, you can kind of see the rebellion rate, so that's what that is. Um, so right now we're all around minus one zero one. Um, so there's not a whole lot of likelihood that there's going to be a rebellion, um, especially because these aren't these are my states, right? They began as my states. Um, what'll happen is if I take over, say, one of Norway's territories, is that they'll um, they will rebel a lot more often because there's going to be loyalists that are loyal to Norway. And usually that doesn't go away for at least a couple of generations. Because um, the nice thing about this game, too, is that, as I said, you can choose... Oh, shit. What's going on? Yeah. They are, I guess, heading... Hmm. Okay, so that's, a, that's an entire army full of peasants. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. This mouse is having some issues. Alright, so we'll head up north. Um, not going to build a bakery. No, I, I, yeah, so these are the special units that I can build. Axsmith. Alright, Axsmith needs to be built. That also gives me plus one workers, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so where are they at right now? They're going to go raid my shit, right? Yeah, they're going to raid my shit. Yeah, so I'll send one guy there while I'm raiding this uh, town over here. Wherever the heck the town is. There it is. So I'm going to raid that town, and I'm going to send in my other guy to go defend. Um, usually I wouldn't be too, too worried, but they are going to destroy some of my uh, some of my city, or some of my towns and stuff. They'll start raiding, and I do not want them to start raiding. So, yeah, who are they at good relations with? They're, they're not in good relationships with anyone. Okay, fair enough. That looks like my cursor changed into a... Oh, that's lame. All right, what are you going to do? Okay. Oh, looks like he's going to go retreat. Okay, well, I'm not going to complain. Um, My liege. Okay, well, we will continue just destroying everything. Um, okay, yeah, so we can get a kingdom power. Um, as you can see, actually, uh, you can see right here, kingdom power. It's, so it's plus one. So it gives me an extra seven gold per turn. And I can actually change the taxes and stuff. Um, Enemy uh -oh. troops have that must have been a different army, too. Let's see this. Political. Uh, oh crap! Yeah, that that may be an issue because I didn't recruit anyone here. Um, well, I'm not going to be able to do anything about that, so this may be bad actually. We have built a new. I actually may lose that province. So yeah, that that's the one unfortunate part about um. Ah shit! Well, that's unfortunate. Political view. Yeah, and they're going to attack it. One we'll of defend, obviously. Ah, oh, we're going to lose it. All right. Well, that's that's for that. We lost one of our cities, I guess. Um, in the meantime, I am kind of wrecking Norway. I guess it's, the problem was is that I didn't have anybody. Well, I guess I could have sent this guy to go help. The battle's already over, unfortunately. So it's like, well, that's that. My enemy lord, enemy troops are marching through yes, our lands. There we go. We just lost it. Brr. Let's move on our way. Time marching. To marching. All right. Well, we did lose a province to Norvagold, um, so that's really annoying. They'll probably send some units sooner or later um, to attack me, and then I'll, I'll defeat them, and then hopefully sue for peace. I kind of want to just take over Norway right now. Okay, so he finished. Okay, so perfect. So right now, um, he did level up, so now I can choose an ability. So right now, I'm going to go blah, 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 plunder. Perfect. So, I'm going to go plunder this village, and as you can see, plunder increases by 20%. Uh, you also get 700 gold, which is huge, right? Like, oh, nice. um, So, yeah, like that's that's going to be huge. Um, now, the thing is... Okay, yeah, so here comes Norvagold. All right, better send this guy back. What is your wish? Oh, no, keep going. I will go. You can go back to base. I am moving. We are on our way. All right. Yeah, so... Norvagold's just trying to, like, steamroll me, apparently. Um, holy macaroni, he's being aggressive. Well, this may be an issue, because that guy's not going to get there in time, I don't think. Eh, maybe not. He should be okay. Oh, motherfucking phone. Oh, 
What the fuck, man? It's so loud. I don't even know that number. Alright. Okay, he's gonna get there in time. We're good. We're good. So we're gonna fight back the attack, and we're gonna go kill that Norwegian guy. Hopefully capture him. Um, okay, great. And we actually defeated him. So he actually retreated. Oh, it looks like he actually lost quite a few troops as well. So that's kind of a nice little bonus. Um... The enemy is besieging one of our towns. Uh, guess what I'll do? Hmm. Let's do that. Build some docks. That'll give me some extra gold as well. What is your wish? Ah, uh, shit. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, we won! Yes! Good shit. Alright, so actually we defended properly and he got captured. That was care that was really scary, actually. You will never leave. Um Okay, yeah, they can't afford the ransom, so we'll just kind of keep him handy. Um, I could probably release him, and then uh, they wouldn't actually fight me, most likely. Um, but I think I'm going to keep going. If they send more troops, then I'll just defeat them with this guy. Um, and this guy's going to be higher and higher level, so hopefully he'll, uh, he'll be able to plunder lots and lots of gold and get more XP. 2500 for the next one. Ah, oh, boy. But no, this is like a this is just a great game because it it's so dynamic because all these different powers they're going to change. They're all fighting each other right now. So like, I don't know, England's fighting France. So look look where what England's doing. England's already beating the shit out of France. The papacy. What the fuck? The papacy is at war with France. Yeah, so France set war with both. I guess they were at war with the papacy and England. But it looks like the Papacy won that war, gained a whole bunch of territory, and England must have still must have won a war and gained a whole bunch of territory. Um, so yeah, that's that's good. Um, looks like yeah, so there is somebody defending that castle, so I'm not going to be able to yes, take it. So I'm going to continue just, I guess, just plundering. Um, all right, I got to build some axsmiths and stuff. Uh, I may as well get docks just to improve my trade and everything. Um, the more docks I have, the better it'll be. Uh, where was the place where I had the... There we go. Alright, so these, these are actually better units. They're Vikings. So, I think you see peasants, so cheapest and weakest. Um, Vikings quite a bit better, obviously. Uh, sounds like that guy leveled up. Great, so we're going to the second pillage. Um, yeah, no, actually, interesting enough, the only... We don't have full, we still have only two. So, hypothetically, this guy could come attack me and kill me. Um, but he should be okay. He should be able to get, get away at least the life, so... Uh, continue recruiting Vikings. As you can see, like, the peasants only require 20 food, which is the resource down here. Um, but the Vikings cost 70, so quite a bit more. Uh, we got a training ground here. We will go with another docks. So docks, basically, as you can see, um... Yeah, so there's two food, two food and one gold. So I got one coastal village there, one coastal village. Oh, wait, that's not mine. <laughs> Political view. Denmark. Oh, so it looks like Germany is at war with Denmark, and Germany's beating the shit Political out of them. Um, so it looks like oh, so they they must have won the war against Denmark, and now they have a marriage. Um, that's another thing. So as you can see, ah, you have the I king, and then you have the queen, family. and then you have the two sons. Now the sons can get married to different princesses. Who obviously so different places. So here I'll go royal wedding. Uh, no, <laughs> well they don't have anybody, but <laughs> same idea, similar idea. All right, Teach that's more gold into my treasury. Three kingdom, kingdom power. power. So what I like to do is just kind of build up my kingdom power to about uh, five, which is the max, obviously. Well, not obviously, but five is the max. Um, and I keep on getting the gold by plundering. So I, I'm at war with these guys. I keep on plundering them. Um, let's try to ransom again. All right. Well, we'll we'll keep on waiting. If they do give me a ransom for this guy, it'll be pretty nice. Um, an extra little two thousand gold. So I'm not gonna complain. Um, I could execute him, which will like basically destroy the uh, relationship with him. I could free him, which will actually improve it quite a bit. Or I can ransom him. So ransom. Probably sounds like the best bet. Um, I don't feel like just giving him up because I, I'm probably once I defeat Norway, which actually may take quite a long time. Um, I'm gonna turn back and try to get Norvegold, but 
we'll have to see. Yeah, I'm just going to continue blundering because I guess this guy isn't coming out of his hidey hole. Um, getting lots and lots of gold for it. Oh, how much do I need 